Right then, <coughs> audio part continuing for Cornwall in 2007 from the cassette tape recordings that were originally done on an old tape recorder. Um, these are going to be stored on, you know, CDs, DVDs. They're going to be used. The audio will be used with f pictures, um, all to enrich the family tree experience. They've already been put on the Ancestry Com site. My family tree there. They've been on there a number of years now. Um, and um, so here we go. We're off now to St Moors. We're leaving Varian, and we're just going to St Moors. It's a lovely summer's evening. Well, it's not summer, I think it's October, but it's a really late summer and it's a nice evening and I decide to just go and be a tourist for a little while, although it is evening. Over and out, here we go. Ask some kind lady, so save me traipsing for miles in the wrong direction. I'm going to St Moors because apparently it's very pretty there and it's near the beach. Alright, I'm fine. I'm going to track her at the moment. Walls. It is like a brilliant summer's night. Not a cloud in the sky. It's warm. It's friendly. It's my last night down in Cornwall. So I can do more research to see whether the Barbaries were more Penzance originate. But well, it doesn't matter anyway, it's just brilliant. I didn't find anything in that graveyard, but we know that we married there. A piece of our, two Peter Barbaries married there. Anyway, this place called Tree Whisson now. Driving through the Tree Whisson. Real Cornish name. Sun's shining right in my face. Following the tractor up the hill. Can hardly see a thing. St. Paul's can only be about four or five miles away now. Four and three quarter miles to be precise. St. Anthony. Now it says five miles on that, uh, on that one. In the VW camper van on a sunny day in Cornwall. I can't go overtaken. I don't know the bends. I love the sound of the camper van. Uh, who 
Do you think you are, program? So, the camera tape. Bags. I've just had a really brisk walk up the hill to the St. Moore's Castle, overlooking the bay and the lighthouse. Take some pictures. Yeah, it's a sub Tudor, a superb Tudor stronghold. The subtropical gardens, magnificent views. Um, open 10 to 4. Right, well, that's like the end of the Cornwall trip. I went to St. Wall's, well I'm still down, I've only fish and chips in the van at the moment, but to be quite honest, I think I'd rather have gone back to Port, what's the name? I might have climbed up. I've spent about an hour here, as planned. Well, following that, I made my way back to um, St. Austell, to the um, caravan park. But on the way back, I was doing okay, but it was getting dark, and I don't like driving in the dark. My eyes go funny. I had people up behind me all the time. The car was struggling a bit going up the windy hills. I thought I wouldn't go back through Varian because I knew that was long and windy and you know I thought I might get lost so I thought I'll head on towards Truro and pick up the St. Austell Road. But anyway the, the road turned out to be long and windy and in the end I took a chance turn in when I saw a place called Crampound Road. So I'd heard of that, I'd passed somewhere near that on the way so I headed for that. But that became long and windy. And in the end, I nearly made a wrong turn and stopped, had to reverse up the road. And I found myself going for miles and miles with no signposts, narrow lanes. I was getting quite panicky and I thought, oh my God, I just want to find a main road. But anyway, luck had it, I came across the main road, one way to St. Truro, one way to St. Austell. So I made my way back, I was so relieved because it was dark by now, I'd missed EastEnders. But um, Who Do You Think You Are is on now. This is a television program which shows celebrities chasing their tree. They don't get, tend to go back very far, probably about the 17th century is, is the furthest back they go. Um, so I'm back for that. I'm going to, I've cleaned up the toilet, ready for it tomorrow, and I've on the way back I noticed the road just before you got into St. Austell on the Truro Road, the signpost for, for a couple of miles to St. Muin, which is the lot, which is where I should go tomorrow morning before I head back. So that's going to be my um, last visit to a church before coming back to Somerset, picking little Daisy up. Got to get organised in the morning and pack everything up neat so that I can literally unload it. I'll leave some stuff in there, like the telly and the food for now, apart from the perishables. So that's it. It's a fitting ending watching Who Do You Think You Are as well. Over and out. Oh, by the way, it's quarter to nine now. Right, it's the 5th of October. Right. <coughs> That's the end of that one. Um, <clears throat> I'm now going to go on to the next audio pod, which will be um, St. Muen, which turns out to be a, quite a significant church, actually, by the time I get to look round it all. I, f I do find quite a few Barbary graves and all sorts there. It was well worth going there. Right, over and out for now. <laughs>